Hello everyone and welcome to MK Smith House. My name is Kay. I just want all the returning subscribers to just thank you guys for tuning into this video. And for the new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for viewing this video. Um, I'm here guys for my 36 week pregnancy update guys. And um, I'm just going to be, I just want to be real with you guys right now. Like I literally had to like really drag myself to do this video. I'm just being honest with you guys. And to be honest, I like have been it's been a struggle to do any video really. Um and even my um for you guys who if you guys are aware I have been doing a series on femininity. Um and I've actually kind of um unofficially taking a bit of a break from it because it's like I just the last few weeks I've just been feeling like so kind of I don't know if I would say overwhelmed but just my mind has been very much occupied with the pregnancy with the you know um just knowing baby's coming soon and um the symptoms and then also just feeling tired just feeling low in energy and like the energy that I do have I'm obviously spending it on you know the kids homeschooling and those type of things so I just haven't been having much energy I just haven't been feeling as much of myself as I normally feel so that's just been what's been going on the last few weeks so basically I just honestly that's why my hubby and I have not been getting any videos out because yeah we're just it's just it's just kind of been um yeah, a bit of a challenge, but don't worry guys, we will definitely be back on getting the videos out and I definitely hope to um, be getting back to the, the femininity series that I am doing. Um, but anyways, so yeah, to put that all aside, let me just jump right into the update. So according to the app, um, the average for baby around this time is 6.30 pounds and 19.13 inches when it comes to movement honestly nothing's new like he's he's still very active um particularly when i'm hungry i noticed that if i am hungry he is very active and i also noticed that when i am eating it's like he's happy that i'm eating he's like yes i'm getting food so he's also very active at that time as well besides that nothing really new and special when it comes to his movement when it comes to symptoms, again, sorry to bore you guys, but it's pretty similar, pretty, like there's not that much that has really changed. It's still the same pelvic pain. It's still, um, you know, the loss of Braxton Hicks. I've noticed that it's an increase in, in intensity. Actually, matter of fact, one day this week, I actually thought I was going to go into labor because I had this one contraction that felt so different from all the other contractions that I've been having. It was so intense. Like it literally took my breath away and I felt, I just almost feel like I felt down there opening or I don't know. I just felt something going on and I was like, this is different. I actually thought I was going in labor and started timing the contractions, which at first they were coming pretty regularly and the app even told me that I should go to the hospital. But I'm like, no, because I've been here before. I've, I've had a time where I timed my contractions and I told me to go to the hospital and I didn't and I ended up just going to bed that night and everything was okay. So I decided that I was going to wait to see if it actually really increased in intensity, meaning that not just that one contraction that was intense, but like if the, you know, the contractions that come after that, if it was going to increase in intensity. And um, I didn't really find that it did. I found it was only that one, I think maybe one more after that, that was pretty intense and the rest was kind of regular and then it started to space out a bit and then it stopped. The only symptom that I find that is kind of new is this, um, you know, a little TMI here, but as I always say, it's a pregnancy update. So obviously there's going to be some information that's a little bit, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> so I've been having like random, sh really sharp, painful pains like in the like vagina like in there like it's just like way down deep in there like it would just be like a sharp pain that just will come at any random time so that's one thing that i'd be noticing that is fairly new as for food cravings it is still tacos i find that i've been craving tacos so guys i um been actually wanting to do this update earlier but i decided to wait because today i had my midwife appointment i decided why not wait till i till i had my 
Oops. Okay. Why not wait till I have my midwife appointment? So that way, if there's anything new, I can let you guys know. So with that being said, baby's heart rate was good. And anything that I was concerned about or was wondering about was apparently normal and okay. Um, which I guess that would go under symptoms, which pretty much I just thought, I just found that sometimes I'll just start getting itchy all over. Like, it doesn't matter if I already showered or anything, I would just start getting itchy all over. And I was wondering what that was about. And she said that could be just hormonal related. So nothing to be concerned about, I guess. I apologize for not adding that in the symptom list, but just remembered about it now. She did do a physical exam to check um, the cervix to see if there's any changes or anything. And she said that um, the like outer cer cervix, hopefully I'm explaining it right. I'm going to try my best to explain it the way that she did. But pretty much what she said was that the outer like cervix, it was, was very soft and, 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 and opened, but the, um, inner cervix was still kind of closed and that one was a bit more firmer. So yeah. So basically, um, based on that i'm definitely not in labor right now <laughs> so that's good for that because i don't really want to be in labor until at least after 37 weeks when i am full term however i guess when she would check in she did mention something about um based on the bloody show or something she said like on those lines that basically based on that that it does seem like something may happen soon so i guess we'll have to wait to find out otherwise guys i'm excited to be 36 weeks and as of this day five days because that means that i'm two days away from being full term and at least i after if baby comes after that he doesn't need to be you know, classified as a preemie although to be honest i don't really believe two days difference would make that huge of a difference in my honest opinion but hey i'm not an expert but yeah so that's pretty exciting definitely i've actually been counting down to that no like i've seriously been counting down guys I, I've literally, I've literally been counting down. I've been Xing out the days and here's where I'm full term and I've been counting down, okay, <laughs> to get to that point because like, it's just a big milestone. Like your baby is, pre is, is, is full term and I plan that when I, as soon as I reach that 37 week mark, which is this Friday, today's Wednesday, I am going to be trying to you know do a lot more walking and just be more active so that way you know like um if he's ready he that will hopefully you know encourage things to progress with you know so yeah but anyways guys um as i said i apologize again for the fact that and i apologize for on behalf of myself uh, i apologize on the on behalf of my husband and myself for just not necessarily putting much content out there. Um, he's been so busy with work and when he's not working, he's busy helping and doing, picking up my slack pretty much that I have been, um, yeah, you know, my slack, like, because I'm tired and I'm in pain and he knows that and he doesn't want me to push myself. Um, speaking of pushing myself, because it just came to my memory now, um, when I was at my midwife appointment, she mentioned my blood pressure being kind of high. It's like at that area where it's not like, oh my gosh, I'm worried high, but it's like just there. And this is the second appointment now that I've had that being set. So I, um, I just a bit of concern about that. I don't want it to get to any higher. She did even gave, gave me a list of things and symptoms to look for for I guess preeclampsia so pretty much she gave me a list of things and said like okay if these things happen um call <laughs> us right away and so we can get to check you out so um I just need to just be careful of trying to make sure I'm calm and rested and um as my mom and sister has said to try to cut down on my salt intake and just trying to just do my what I can do to keep my blood pressure um, normal obviously I know that when you're pregnant sometimes it's out of your control completely and there's nothing you can really do but I can at least try to do what what I can do to try to keep things um normal because obviously when I go in labor and I start to experience pain then then it's gonna go higher so we just don't want any problems especially because my mom has had a scare in in her past with you know being pregnant and with actually no being in labor sorry with high blood pressure so they just want to make sure that i'm okay 
and stuff and I'm just blessed to have people that around me that are very much concerned for my health and health of the baby but anyways guys I am rambling on that is it thank you so much for tuning into this video don't forget if you haven't subscribed to subscribe I know this is channel has been kind of boring recently but don't worry it will get back good especially when we're gonna have the little one to um you guys to watch it grow and everything it's gonna be great so guys don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time